Hi there, how are you doing? Tim Warner here, welcoming you to a brief lesson called How to Register for Microsoft Certification Exams. My goal here is to walk you through in a brief period of time, step by step, how to complete your exam booking. Let's get right to it. I've got a bunch of screenshots because I recently registered for exam PL900, Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals. So step one is that you'll want to find the exam page you're interested in and scroll down to this part where you can register. I also want to say parenthetically, you'll need to make sure you're signed in with your Microsoft account. And that Microsoft account, also called an MSA, should be the same account that you use at Microsoft Learn. Are you familiar with Microsoft Learn? It's Microsoft.com slash learn. Why do I say that? Because the associate and expert level Microsoft certification exams have a two or one year expiration depending upon when you've earned it. And nowadays you can renew your certification by passing a free assessment at, wait for it, Microsoft Learn. So make sure you're using the same MSA or Microsoft account to schedule your exam and also at the Microsoft Learn website. Now, if you're taking a Microsoft Office Specialist exam, that's Certiport. We're not going to worry about that. We also won't look at the COVID-19 discount. We're going to assume that you're going to come in through Pearson View, which is Microsoft's long-standing partner. They do the actual exam delivery. So you click that, you verify your certification profile, your contact information. If you qualify for an exam discount, you'll see over here, this is actually a tabbed interface where you can go to that second exam discount tab. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer, for example, so I will often, actually always, claim my 75% discount. I'd be a fool not to. If you don't qualify for an exam discount, then of course you would just proceed to the next step. In which case, you'll be brought to the Pearson View web application. And as you can see over here, it follows you through step by step on the navigation. And the first question is, are you going to take the test physically at a test center? or online. Now, I would strongly recommend that you do the test on your own terms at your home or office. And if you look elsewhere in my YouTube channel, I've created a video on how to handle online testing with minimal fuss, muss, or greasy aftertaste. So assuming that you're going to do online scheduling, the screen will tell you just in brief what to expect, what you'll need, ID, testing space. The biggest suggestion I have for you here is you'll want to make a note when the Pearson View engine talks about a system test. And the biggest cause of problems I've found with test takers are those who don't run their system test at least once prior to exam day. It's a really important step because the check-in process on exam day is exactly the same as the system test that you can run at any time on your computer. And you'll want to run the system test on the computer that you'll use on your testing day and also in the same room and network connection that you'll use on your testing day. You have to agree to all the Microsoft online exam policies. Hopefully that makes sense. Your exam language, again, that's pretty straightforward. The proctor language. Now, hopefully you won't be dealing with a live proctor. I mean, you always do in an online testing scenario have a human being on the other end of the connection. But if you've done the sign-in properly and your testing environment is up to spec, the proctor in a best case scenario won't even communicate with you. They will just release the exam and off you go. But if the proctor does need to communicate, it looks like you've got Japanese and English as your language options. This is an important screen because this is where you choose your your exam date and time. And what I love about the freedom of online testing is that I can take the exam in the middle of the night if I want to. I'm no longer subject to Pearson View Testing Center's business hours. So as you can see here, you use the calendar control to determine whether you're looking at 12 or 24 hour clocks, and then you choose your session from the ones that are available. Isn't that great? I just absolutely love this. You then see your shopping cart, and this is basically just an upsell to see whether you want to add a measure up practice test. Now I do believe in measure up. I also have a nice comparison video here on my YouTube channel between measure up and WizLab's practice tests, but you don't have to do it. This is just an option. And it is a discount off the list price. It's 80 bucks USD for a 30 day license instead of the normal price, 100 bucks USD. So you proceed to check out. You're going to have to again, agree to the policies and then provide your payment method. Now, if you do have a voucher, this is where you will put that in. As you can see up here, 
add a voucher or promo code. So I'm using my MCT 75% discount that I redeemed earlier, but if you're not an MCT, but you do have a voucher, you'll simply click add voucher or promo code, paste or type in the value, and then it would adjust your total due depending upon what kind of voucher it is. So in my case, I provide my credit card details, and then finally, submit order in the lower right corner of the screen. Now, this is an important point. You want to make sure that the details that are listed here match the exam, the language, the date and time. Just do a final check there before you submit the order. Okay. At that point, you'll be prompted by the web application again to run a system test. You don't have to do it now, but you'll want to do it at some time in the future before exam day. Here is my email inbox. You'll get a confirmation of your scheduled exam. And the main thing I want to draw your attention to here is this link to your certification dashboard. Above all else, I would recommend that you bookmark your Microsoft certification dashboard. This is a site that you'll sign into with your Microsoft account. And what it will allow you to do, you may already know this, but here's a screenshot of mine, is it will allow you to manage your appointment. So you can see here, we can see that I have my upcoming appointment for my Power Platform exam. And very importantly, there's a system test link, there's the start button, there's reschedule and cancel. So I just can't overestimate or overstate how useful your certification dashboard is. And it's also going to be where you can get your certificates and badges and your Microsoft transcript and so forth after the fact. As far as learning resources, as you can see on the slide, I have three of them. If you want to browse all of the Microsoft role-based certifications, point your browser to timw.info slash rme1. If you want to look at the Microsoft docs specific to exam registration, go to timw.info slash rme2. And a shortcut for the MS certification dashboard is timw.info slash, wait for it, rme3. Awesome. Well, I hope that you found this brief lesson was useful for you. I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm also on Twitter, Tech Trainer Tim. You can find my Pluralsight courses at timw.info slash ps. And my personal website is techtrainertim.com. I wish you all the best in your Microsoft certification journey.